Welcome to the fifth and final video on Inform 7. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, this video is going to be on releasing your project for other people to play. So in the last video, I mentioned this line right here, release along with the parchment interpreter. What I've added for this lesson five is this additional sentence, release along with the source text. What these two do is, when I click on the Release button, add two extra things to the normal release. They create a Play and Browser page and releases the source text. Without those two lines, release will tell Inform7 to produce a blurb file, in this case a compressed one. Really, that's all you need for someone else to play your story. You can send them this file or post it online for them to download. And then on their desktop or laptop or mobile device, they can play your story using just that file. However, with the parchment interpreter, they can actually play it in the browser. As you can see right here. And it also, of course, produces sort of a standard templated web page saying that it was created within form, what the name of it is, its IFID, and programs people can use to play the file. And it links directly to the file itself. But it also, as those two lines told it to do, produce the play in browser and produce the source text. Which should look as close as possible to what it would have looked like in Inform7 itself. As you can see, quoted text is blue. Tables have a special emphasis. And so on. As it roughly looks the same in the program itself. With quoted text being blue, tables, of course, don't have the special emphasis. Looking over in the Errors tab, we can also see there are other options we could have used. In addition to the ones I'm already using, we can release along with cover art, if we want some default artwork, extra files, perhaps a manual or some hints, a solution, a library card, introductory booklet explaining what the story is. All you really need for someone to play your story, as I mentioned before, is just this file. But, like in all things in Inform7, you can do it one way, or you can do it a bunch of different ways, and it's all up to the author to choose what they may want. It's up to you to choose what you want to release along with your story. Thanks for watching.